Hi, so in this video we are going to learn how to find prime numbers, right? So suppose if you are asked to find all the prime numbers till a particular given number, there is no need to check all the numbers. You just find the square root of the given number and if that square root is in decimal, take the next number and check the divisibility of all the available numbers from 1 till that square root of the number. So using the same principle, we are going to find the prime numbers between 1 and 100. And the method we are going to use is called Eratosthenes sieve. So let me first note down the numbers from 1 to 100. So these are the numbers between 1 and 100. So in this method, we will start from the first row and we'll go from left to right and check the divisibility of all the numbers till only 10. Why? Because square root of 100 is 10. 10 multiplied by 10 gives us 100, right? Since 10 multiplied by 10 is equal to 100, which is the biggest number on this grid. So if we can check the divisibility of all the numbers till 10 and strike off all the numbers which are divisible by the numbers till 10, and then we'll have a set of numbers which are still remaining and all of them will be prime numbers. Why? Because when 10 gets multiplied by 10, we get the largest number in the grid. So there is no need to check the divisibility by 11, 12, 13, 14 and so on. Why? Because 10 multiplied by 11 is 110, which is a number bigger than 100, right? And 10 multiplied by 13 is 130, which is a number bigger than 100. So in this particular case, it is actually useless to check the divisibility of all the numbers by a number which is bigger than 10, right? Yes, we will start the procedure and then you will understand why I am saying this, right? And now let's start the procedure. First, we will start from the first row and in each row, we will go from left to right. So first, we'll take first row, then we'll take second row. And since the 10 is in the first row, we are actually not supposed to go to the second row. But to cross check our logic, we will take few elements of the second row also, right? We'll take numbers one by one and then we will cross all their multiples. Yes, so we will start from one, right? And one is actually a special number. It is neither classified as a prime number nor as a composite number so we are not going to talk about one and after this we'll go from left to right and check for the numbers who are still there uncrossed and how the numbers will get crossed yes see so after one there is two so two is a prime number right and then what I have to do I have to strike off all the numbers which are multiple of two so all the numbers which are multiple of two will be the even numbers or you can peacefully strike off all the alternate numbers or every second number of these numbers. So 2 is a prime number. First number after 2 is 3 and the second number after 2 is 4. So 4 is a multiple of 2, right? Similarly, 6 is a multiple of 2. 8 is a multiple of 2. All the even numbers are multiples of 2, right? 12 is a multiple of 2. 14 is a multiple of 2, right? or we can peacefully shade all these alternate columns because all of them have even numbers in them, right? It's suppose, see, this column has all the even numbers. Similarly, this column also has all the even numbers and all of them will be multiples of two. And if they are multiple of any number, they are not prime numbers. So all these numbers will not be prime numbers, right? I'm shading them in gray, right? So we have got our first prime number, which is 2, and I'm going to color it in, suppose, red. And what will be the next step? Next step is I'll go from left to right in the first row only because right now we are handling the first row. And the number after 2 in the first row is 3, which is still unshaded, right? That means 3 is not the multiple of 2. And since 3 is not a multiple of 2, it is a, yes, it is a prime number, right? because we have striked off all the numbers which are multiples of 2 and then we have searched for the new number in the row and that is 3 which is still there unshaded so 3 is the prime number right and now what we have to do yes we have to shade all the multiples of 3 so to do that we have to shade every third number after 3 so third number after 3 is 6 which is already shaded 3, 2 is a 6 and it got shaded when we were searching for multiples of 2, right? So 
other multiples of 3 are 9, 15. So I have shaded all the multiples of 3, right? And then again we will follow the same procedure. We will again go back to the first row and try to find the next number. Next number is 4 which is already shaded in grey. That means it is not a prime number. It is a multiple of 2, right? And then we have 5 still unshaded. That means it is a prime number. So I am going to color it in red. It is a prime number, right? And now what we have to do? We have to shade all the multiples of 5 in grey. So any number which has 0 in its units place or 5 in its units place is the multiple of 5. The numbers which have zeros in their units place are also the multiple of 2 because all of them are even numbers. So they are already shaded in grey and all the other multiples of 5 will have 5 in a units place. That means this whole column is actually the multiple of 5, right? So none of them will be the prime numbers because all of them will be divisible by 5, right? And if we follow this procedure, next number in the line is 7, which is still unshaded. That means 7 is a prime number, right? And since 7 is a prime number, we have to strike off all the multiples of 7 because they will not be the prime numbers, right? So let's do that. 7 2s are 14 is already shaded. 7 3s are 21 is already shaded. 7 4s are 28. This is already shaded. Why? Because all the numbers till 7 we have checked. 7 5s are 35 is already shaded over here. 7 6s are 42. That is also shaded. Right? Then we have 7 7s are 49. So we can actually check from the square of that prime number which we have newly found and onwards. So 7 7s are 49 will not be a prime number. So I have to shade it in grey. 7 8s are we need not to check because 8 is an even number and all the even numbers we have already striked off, right? So we need not to check. Similarly, 7 9s are we need not to check because 9 is a multiple of 3 and we have already striked off all the multiples of 3. And 7 10s are also not required to check. Why? Because 10 is already in gray color and it is an even number. So all its multiples will also be even number, right? And we have already striked off all the even numbers. So 7 tens are we need not to check. 7 elevens are 77, right? So 7 elevens are 77 is over here and this will not be a prime number because it is a multiple of 7, right? And after that we will have 7 twelves are we need not to check because 12 is already in grey color and 7 multiplied by 13 will be Seven ones are seven plus two nine ninety one. So ninety one will not be a prime number because it is a multiple of seven, right? So I have to color it in dark gray. And after this, seven multiplied by fourteen will be an even number because fourteen is an even number, and even number we have already striked off. And seven fifteens are hundred five, which is more than hundred. So we need not to check any number after seven multiplied by fourteen. Then if we go further, in first row we have 8 which is already in grey, 9 which is already in grey and 10 which is also in grey, right? So that means we have already striked off all the multiples of 8, we have already striked off all the multiples of 9 and we have also striked off all the multiples of 10, right? That means after this we need not to check any number, right? Yes. But let's cross check it with the next number which is 11 and which is the prime number in this case because it is still on black, right? So I will color this in red because it is a prime number and now if I talk about all the multiples of 11, 11 2s are 22, 11 3s are 33, 11 4s are 44, 11 5s are 55, 11 6s are 66, 11 7s are 77, 11 8s are 88 and 11 9s are 99. We are only getting 9 multiples of 11 in this grid and they are all shaded in grey. Right? Similarly, if we check 13, 13 is still on black so it will be a prime number and now if we check all the multiples of 13, 13 2s are 26, 
13 threes are 39 that is also shaded in gray 13 fours are will be an even number so no point in checking 13 fives are will be a multiple of 5 that we have already checked 13 six are will be a multiple of 6 that is also we have checked 13 sevens are will be a multiple of 7 also that is also we have checked so and 13 eights are will be a multiple of 8 that is also we have checked right and 13 nines are will be a multiple of 9 that we have already shaded in gray and 13 tens are 13 tens will be 130 which is more than 100 so we need not to check right so after this we actually need not to check further all these number which is which are still on black all of them are prime numbers right so these are the prime numbers between 1 and 100 right so when you are asked to find all the prime numbers till a given number find the square root of that number and check the divisibility of all the numbers till that square root that's enough right so this was Erasthenes sieve and this was one method of finding the prime numbers